A backlash against Grace Tame was swift and many would say brutal after she silently paraded her disgust with the Prime Minister for photographers in Canberra. Why should she stand there and smile and pretend it's all okay when there is an absolute catastrophe oh, I, on I the cards I didn't think she here. should stand there and smile and pretend it's okay. I just thought she shouldn't go. Uh, if you can't be polite in some form, then I just think don't go. If you can't just have basic courtesy, then to the Prime Minister, I don't like Scott Morrison particularly, but if you can't show basic courtesy, I just think it's immature. News.com today used Samantha Maiden and asked, is it really that surprising that after surviving childhood trauma that involved a powerful male leadership figure, a teacher repeatedly raping her and telling her how to behave, that Grace Tame might bristle at adhering to demands she display civility as an adult? Grace's reaction to the meeting with Scott Morrison hasn't been the only expressionless photo op in politics. Pope Francis remained emotionless when meeting Donald Trump, as did former High Court Judge Kenneth Hayne when he met Josh Frydenberg in 2019. Many defended Tame's actions, praising her for the silent protest. You know when she should have been able to act as a child? When she was a child, only she was preyed upon by a man and, and lost parts of her childhood.